What is going on guys and welcome to Crystal Screw. Today I'm going to show you how to install an SPRX and what an SPRX is and everything else that belongs with an SPRX. How to install and some more. And basically the SPRX, uh, I'm going to show you what you can do with it, how to add mod menus in it if you have a different mod menu you want to add into this injector. Um, and we're going to show you how to create an eBoot or I'll give you just the eBoot that's already been created but I wanted to show you it with the eBoot builder as that's just way easier. So first thing first, download everything in the description. If you don't want to have the pre-made eBoot and the self file then just download the eBoot builder and the advanced GSC injector. Now what we're going to do is go and open up eBoot builder and then we're going to go and open this application up and we click on run. We're going to click next, don't worry if the files don't show up just <sighs> ignore it. It should find the files immediately. Anyway, so um, as you can see, you select what you want to do. I want to select anti ban because I don't want to get banned. Then it disable probation bypass, no recoil laser. Um, what else do I want? Super City Aim, it's always helpful. And the V set. I hate wall hack. There's so many mods or eboots that they contain wall hack. I don't like the wall hack, so I'm not going to put it in. So, what you got to do is then click on next and then click on enable SPRX path file. Now, I'm not sure what I created here, okay, um, ignore me what I said. What you gotta do is then type in this, BO2, all capital letters, underscore GSC, underscore injector with a capital I only, and then .sprx. What you then gotta do is click on eboot.bin, and then click on the T6 MP, PS, underscore PS3F.self, because you need this. Now if your PS3 console is a Kex or a Dex firmware, um, if your PS3 is a Kex PS3, or if your PS3 is a DEX PS3, just select what your PS3 is. I'll have a DEX PS3, so I'm gonna select DEX. And all we're gonna do is click on next, go to the next file set, and then you click on build, and it will build and po pop up a folder with the eboots and everything in. Now, what you gotta do is open up a FileZilla client thing. I got, as you can see, Multiman here on screen. What we're gonna do now is open up FileZilla, because I'm just gonna use FileZilla to drag and drop and transfer port every single file on the PS3 we're gonna need. As you can see, dev underscore hd0. And the first thing first, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to the game because we're gonna drag and drop in the e the eboot we created in the cell file. Now my game should be the last 0717. And we head over to use the IR. Uh, just go to the game region of Black Ops 2 and then use the IR and drag and drop these files in. What we're gonna do right now. So output, we're gonna drag and drop these in. And we're gonna rename them once they're in because we already got an eboot and a t6 uh, mp dot self or something like that. Where is it? Here it is. So we're gonna delete these two, and then we're gonna rename these. So we're gonna remove the decks in front of it because otherwise it won't work. And remove this. Okay, so we already transferred the SPRX, the eboot that will load the SPRX on the PS3. Now what we're gonna do. As a final thing, I'm quickly going to show you um, how to add mod menus to the GSC injector. So as you can see, this is what you're going to need in a bit, and you've got to put this on your PS3 to so keep FileZilla open. What you're going to do is um, download the GSC file or GSC menu that's not real already in this folder, because as you can see, these are the pre-installed um, mod menus that are already in this GSC injector. So if you have a new GC inject, uh, a new GC mod menu, you just put it in here, and then what you gotta do is open this uh, CFG file, and I'll leave a download link to Notepad Plus Plus in the description. Or what you could do is right-click it, properties, and then you could, should be able to go uh, open it with like change here, and then open with Notepad. You could do that. I'm gonna use Notepad Plus Plus. I'll also leave a download link in the description. What you gotta do is just edit it with Notepad Plus Plus, and it's really easy to add new files in. The only thing what you gotta do is while that's loading and it takes a while suddenly enough. Okay, here it is. Only thing we gotta do is just scroll up all the way to the bottom. And as you can see, the end it with 13. What you gotta do is just copy this line of coding. You're gonna press enter here. You're gonna change this to 14 everywhere. And then what you're gonna do is adjust the name at the end here. As you can see, there should be a, a conversation to m.gsc in the GC injector folder. Let me see conversation. Yeah, here it is. So basically, this is the GC file that will be read. That's gonna get read written here, or you know, 
If as an example you're gonna download the latest version of Allegance, what you should do is just take the name of the GSC file and just rename it here. So as an example, if you download Allegance v3 private patch, what you could do is name the GSC file to Allegance v3 v3p for private. And then what you can do is click it and change the title because the title is gonna be Allegance v3 private. And here you can basically put in a um, whatever you want. This is actually just some information about a patch. Let's say good menu, no freeze. So whenever you load the game, uh, you can scroll through and then you will be able to find this. Now I'm going to save this. And what I'm actually going to do, just for the tutorial, I already got elegance here. Um, going to paste it in here again. I'm gonna rename it Feature Private. Feature Private.gsc. So basically, I'll be showing you how it will work in game. Now, what we're gonna do is click on Save. Obviously, if you haven't already, Control S, exit this out, and um, there's my mouse. I couldn't find it. Open up your folders, go to the GSC injector, and what you're gonna do is drag and drop this in the TMP uh, file location. So we're going to FileZilla again. And we're gonna go to TMP forward slash. I already got these in here, but I'm just gonna replace them. But because why the fuck not? I'm just gonna replace them. And override. Always use this option or action, wherever it's set. Just let this transfer. And then once this is done transfer, I'm gonna go switch to my PS3. So I'll get, see you guys in a second. And we will be then on Black Ops 2. Okay, so now once we're on our PS3, basically what you gotta do is load up Black Ops 2 and then go to multiplayer. Press L2 and triangle, and as you can see right now, it shows up which SPRX menu we're gonna choose. Now I choose to load, I think, Dynamic V2. What you gotta do is just press X, and it'll basically tell you to go into a private match or a custom game and load the game. Now I'm gonna load the game, and usually when you're using a different injector, you need to load the game, you need to inject your mod menu to end the game, you need to load the game again, and then you're able to use your mod menu. Now basically what you can do is just right away use your menu, like it's instantly working, um, takes maybe a little bit longer loading, and also the menu and everything, like flag up itself, is a little bit laggy, so like I mean like when you're in pre-game mode and everything, when you're making your class, it's a little bit laggy, the response a bit lower, but as you can see, the menu loaded, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it shows something, and now I'm just throwing it around. Well, I'm going to open the menu now. As you can see, Dynamic V2 would work perfectly fine. Now, this was the tutorial, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, or you want to see more Black Ops content, be sure to leave that down in the description. I've been uploading some GTA, but unfortunately, not everybody seems to like GTA gameplays now. I just really want to know what you guys think about it. Be sure to leave that down in the comment section below. With that being said, hope you enjoyed it, and I'm out. Adios.